Today, you're gonna learn all about smooth scrolling. Before we begin, this video sponsors HelloSign, which offers an API that helps companies grow revenue faster by automating document workflows with a developer-friendly e-signature API that makes it simple and easy to embed, secure, and legally binding documents directly into your website. G2 Crowd says HelloSign's API is two times faster to implement than any other e-sign provider. You or your devs can send your first API call in minutes and your app certification is always free and you won't find an e-signature product with an easier path to implementation. All right, let's get back to it. Hey everyone, Gary Simon of Corsetro. So just a few days ago, I released a tutorial that shows people how to uh, create these scroll based or scroll activated animations on different UI elements. And that was quite popular tutorial. So to stick with that theme, I also wanted to do something different. So what we're doing is we're taking this current project, we're adding this click me button, and we're making it so that it will automatically create a nice smooth scroll between the various elements and we can control exactly where it goes and it's very handy. All right, so I again, you can have uh, access to this project uh, as a starting point where I'm gonna be starting in this tutorial by clicking on the GitHub link and don't worry, I will remember to add it this time uh, so that you can follow right along. So um, for today's question, keyboards, do you use a mechanical keyboard or just a regular run of the mill keyboard that you can buy at your local grocery store, <laughs> all right? So let me know in the comments. I'll let you know what I think and what I use, all right, in the first pinned comment, all right? If you enjoy this, subscribe, and let's get started. All right, so here is the project um, from the previous tutorial. Um, real quickly, I, I am going to have a GitHub link. Make sure you click that, and you can clone the repo or download however you want to get this project up and running. This is what you'll be presented with. Um, as you see in the package JSON, the only thing, the only dependency we have is that cell JS. Um, from the previous tutorial. Okay, so to get started, I'm going to click watch SAS and I'm also going to click on go live and that will launch this up. And this is what we're going to add this, the, uh, the smooth scroll to. So over here at the GitHub page for the jump.js, um, we can come down here and we'll see that we can run npm to install it. So that's the node package manager. Make sure you go to nodejs.org and download node.js um, if you don't have that. And so if we go back, if I could find my damn, let's see here, um, editor, there we go. We can go ahead now and I'm going to go to terminal and I'm going to run the npm install jump.js and save it as a dependency energy package JSON file. I can see it's very small, very quick and easy to run. All right, so now it's right here in our node module. So next we need to get it imported um, and so we'll come down here, I'm gonna get control B to get rid of that sidebar. And what we'll do is in our script tag, we'll just run this following command and I'm just gonna paste this in. All right, so import jump from the jump module JS file. All right, so before we get to any more JavaScript, by the way, what we'll do is um, we'll go ahead and come up here and just add some HTML. We're gonna add some buttons in each of the three sections that we have defined. All right, so um, we're just gonna use a button element. And the ID is going to be for this one, uh, so we can reference it in JavaScript. I'm just gonna call it button. And then we're just gonna put on click me. All right, not the best call to action button text. Um, and so this when clicked is gonna go over um, to this section, to the third section down here. So we're gonna put a class here of target, all right? Um, then right here at the bottom of this section content for the, the third section, we're gonna add the button as well, except this is gonna be button two. And then this is gonna, this once clicked, will go to a class of target two. So class equals target two. And we're gonna add another final uh, button right here all right and this will be button three which is going to go to the very top section again target equals and oh, no not target equals class three that's funny class equals target three right there all right so that's all we have to do with the html now real quickly i'm going to control b we're going to go into our main 
uh, main SAS file. And I'm just gonna make a quick adjustment to what we had originally right here where it says 75 viewport height. We're gonna change that to 100 simply because I want all three of the sections to be 100% of the viewport height in the browser. Um, and then secondly, we're gonna style up that button. Um, I'm just gonna bring it out outside um, of everything. And I'm just gonna copy and paste this in. All this is is a bunch of aesthetic stuff to make sure that button doesn't look like crap. So if we save it now, and, and you save the HTML, um, this is roughly what you should have going. So there's already an error, as we can see, unexpected identifier. Oh, and what I have to add here is type equals module as we're importing this module right here. So if we go to, um, there we go. So now everything's good. It doesn't actually work, obviously, because we haven't yet added the necessary JavaScript for these sections. All right, so coming back up, um, let's go back here. So uh, what we'll do here is in the main JavaScript area, we're going to first reference our button elements here. All right, so what we'll do is we'll say var button equals document get element by ID and that's the button that's the ID we gave it and then what we'll say is button dot add event listener on click so when the button is clicked we're going to pass in a function here we don't need to pass anything to it so what we'll put in here is a reference to jump which is being imported and the argument takes, and this is the only required argument, is the um, the actual class from which it's supposed to scroll to. So for the first button, it's supposed to go down to the third section right here in class target. All right, and that's it. So um, let's go ahead and give that a shot and save it here. So refresh it. There we go. Awesome, so let's keep on adding and we'll uh, experiment with some of the more of the options from Jump.js. As you can see here, there's um, just a bunch of other stuff that you can use. Um, so now, let me just reference this twice. Change this to three and three. All right, so let's just copy this. This will be button two, which is going to be going to uh, Jump um, Target to class. All right. so. Real quickly, let's just go ahead and save that, and we'll see how that works just by default. Um, there we go. Uh, but we can add some uh, options here. So we could pass in an object, and this time, let's say for instance, you really wanna control the duration. In fact, I think it makes more sense to control the duration of the first element up here, simply because it's going, it's, it's traveling the greatest distance. So maybe that duration should be slower. So what we do is pass in this object here and we'll pass in a property of duration and we'll just say in milliseconds, 2000 seconds. By default it is, I mean 2000 milliseconds or, or two seconds. By default it is one second. Um, so we'll save this. We'll go back up to the top, refresh. We're gonna click me. Now you can see it's much slower. It's much more smooth in my opinion. And this is a little bit faster, but that's only because it has to travel that amount of distance. All right, so awesome stuff. Um, let's go ahead and do this one more time for button three, which goes to target three, which is the very top. So from the second to the first section. And this time we're gonna add some even more options here. So what we'll do is put in a duration. Um, let's just do 2000 milliseconds again. Um, this time we could pass in an offset, which can be in either a negative or positive value in terms of pixels. So what offset will do, if we say 100 right here, that will be, um, it'll offset where it stops based on the location of the target class um, by that amount of pixels either. And you could put in, in a negative value as well. Um, so let's just save that real quickly so that we can see how that works. So if I click this, notice, Right there, it's not going to the very top because we've offset it by 100 pixels. Now, there could be some use cases for that. It allows you really to fine tune exactly where the browser will end up in relation to the class. Um, let's see, we also have here a callback. And so the callback function will allow you 
to specify some event in JavaScript, which could be a million different things that could happen once the, uh, the browser is scrolled to the cor correct position. So that's what happens. This gets called when it finishes this given scroll. All right, so just for real quickly, console log uh, scroll completed. We'll save it. We'll go back. Um, we'll hit Control Shift I to get up, get up our uh, uh, console here. And if I just bring this in a little bit, there we go. Um, and I come back to our scroll position uh, three. We click this. Watch what happens. Scroll completed. So you could do any number of things. You could add in an element on the page uh, into the DOM. You can do. Um, just a million different things. And so it's very handy to have that callback. So let's go ahead one final time, look at everything, click it. So obviously combined with SALJS, which is the um, tutorial that we covered, you know, that makes this stuff animate based on scroll, these two things combined with each other gives you a real nice effect for your UI designs. All right, so hopefully you found that very useful. If you enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe and don't forget to answer today's question, which is keyboards. Do you use a mechanical keyboard or just a regular keyboard? Let me know in the comments and check out my top pin comment for my answer and I'll see you guys soon.